person. So each of our CIP citizens go through this labyrinth of, uh, of, of tests. And, and clearly at the time when Mr. Chutsky had applied for citizenship, um, his name had not appeared in any of these um, agencies who would, who would be able to give an attestation as to whether or not there was a charge against him. So we, we had him on the point that he made a false declaration and moved to uh, rescind his citizenship. What has happened since, he has challenged that and said that we did not have the material facts to be able to do that. The matter is pending before the courts. And uh, I think as a consequence of what is now taking place in Dominica, should he be returned here to Antigua, um, the matters in the courts will, will subsist. And one of the concerns that we would have, um, given if, if the case were proven that he was indeed abducted, the whole question of his safety would become an issue. And so um, getting that matter to be determined on the court docket is a matter that we are now beginning to look at to determine if we can get uh, an early hearing other than November or December, which is slated to do. And if and when that happens and uh, the government prevails, um, then we will have the option of saying that uh, you're no longer a citizen and we do not want you within our jurisdiction. But I don't uh, think uh, beyond that, um, it, it affects the CIP program. I think it validates the fact that we are serious about uh, these regulations that we have put in place. And so any would-be applicant would know that uh, the government would be clear if you uh, make any false declarations then there will be recompense and we will do just what we have done to Mr. Chutsky.